the kidnapping of 21 international human rights workers attempting to deliver needed aid to a besieged people is an outrage, but it is hardly an isolated one. Since its founding in 1948, the State of Israel has regularly kidnapped and tortured Palestinians, throwing them into forgotten prisons where they can languish for years. Today, over 11,000 Palestinian political prisoners, without benefit of due process, some never even charged, men, women and children, endure torture and isolation in Israeli jails, out there prison camps and secret black sites. They come from all walks of life. Doctors, journalists, parliamentarians, workers, resistance fighters, homemakers, students and others. They are our sisters and brothers. The Gaza Strip is one of the most densely populated places on the planet. A 25 mile long narrow coastal plain wedged between Israel and Egypt, Gaza is home to one and a half million Palestinians, over half of them children. Most of its population are refugees or their descendants, driven out of Israel during its founding in 1948. Surrounded by 40-foot high walls of iron and steel, Gaza has only three points of entry or exit. The border crossings with Israel, the crossings with Egypt, and the sea. Israel has occupied Gaza since 1967, maintaining complete control over Gaza's airspace and territorial waters imports and exports, and travel into or out of the territory. Since January 2006, Israel has subjected the Gaza Strip to an increasingly severe blockade, restricting the ability to import fuel, spare parts, and other necessary materials. Compared to December 2005, less than 20% of the supplies needed for normal trade are allowed into Gaza by Israel, and foreign investment has fallen off by over 95%. As a consequence, the economy has completely collapsed most of Gaza's industrial plants have been forced to close, causing steep increases in unemployment, poverty, and childhood malnutrition rates. In December 2008, Israel broke a ceasefire with Gaza and began a three-week campaign of bombings, home invasions, and general destruction. During the massacre, homes, schools, mosques, and UN centers were all attacked by Israel. Thirteen Israelis, including four Israeli civilians, lost their lives while over 1,300 Palestinian men, women, and children were slaughtered. Since the end of the massacre, it has become harder than ever to bring in humanitarian relief, reconstruction aid, or developmental supplies. According to a recent report from the Red Cross, the people of Gaza are now trapped in despair. On June 30, 2009, Israeli occupation forces forcibly boarded the Free Gaza boat Spirit of Humanity and kidnapped 21 human rights workers and journalists, including Nobel laureate Mairead McGuire and former U.S. Congresswoman Cynthia McKinney. The group was on their way to deliver much-needed humanitarian and reconstruction supplies to besiege Gaza. The 21 passengers aboard the Spirit of Humanity have been jailed for attempting to break into the prison that is Gaza and to provide some small relief to the members of our common human family who are imprisoned there for the crime of simply being Palestinian. The siege of Gaza continues and the humanitarian conditions of the one and a half million human beings illegally incarcerated in Gaza is now at its worst point in the last 40 years of Israeli occupation.